It was during the early 1960s, a period when Malaysia was still in the early developing phase, but set against a gloomy backdrop of increasing incidences of malaria, filariasis and other tropical diseases, it became obvious that there was a reason to establish a society dedicated for parasitology and tropical medicine. The idea was conceived at the UNESCO-sponsored regional seminar on scientific knowledge on tropical parasites hosted by the government of Singapore in 1962. A small committee was set up to draft a constitution for the formation of a local society of parasitologists. However, it was not until January 10, 1964 that the inaugural meeting of the Malaysian Society of Parasitologists, as it was then called, was convened at the Institute for Medical Research, Kuala Lumpur. The constitution approved and the first group of office bearers elected. Meanwhile, the laboratory demonstrations in parasitology had been set up at a six-month intervals at Singapore and Kuala Lumpur alternatively under the auspices of the Royal Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene, London. Professor A. A. Sandoshan and Professor Desiritz became the local secretaries of the societies in Malaysia and Singapore who respectively organized these continuous laboratory meetings which later was to be undertaken solely by our society. The scope and range of activities of the society gradually expanded and its membership increased. Along with the laboratory demonstration meetings, talks on various aspects of parasitology was introduced. These were enlarged in scope and range of interest to half-yearly seminars with several papers being presented and discussed over a three-day period. The annual general meetings of the society were held in conjunction with the seminars organized at the beginning of the year. The venue of these meetings had been the Institute for Medical Research and the Schools of Biological Sciences based in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur and Penang, the Veterinary Research Institute, EPO, and the Selangor Veterinary Institute. Another regular feature was the talks held under the auspices of the society by visitors imminent in various fields of parasitology and tropical medicine. Sometimes there were as many as eight or ten of these in a year which helped not only to acquaint members of current researchers abroad, but also to bring them together more often. The society revised its constitution, raising the subscription fee and adopting an emblem. It was now affiliated to the World Federation of Parasitologists. The seminars received more and more international presentations, especially after the Diploma in Applied Parasitology and Entomology, DAP and E course by the Semio Tropmed was initiated at the Institute Medical Research. In keeping with the trend resulting from the associations and the growing interest in the applied aspects of parasitology in medicine and veterinary practice in the tropics, the name of our society was changed to the Malaysian Society of Parasitology and Tropical Medicine. The notes on demonstrations set up at the laboratory meetings were initially published in the transactions of the Royal Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene and a few other journals. Later, Professor Sandosham was appointed the first editor-in-chief to the Southeast Asian Journal of Tropical Medicine and Public Health. Professor C.P. Ramachandran and later Mr. Cheong Weng Hui were subsequently appointed one of the editors for this journal. The need has long been felt for a list of members indicating their special fields of interest and we are grateful to Mr. M. Nachatram who took the initiative in assembling the information in the first directory. The subscription for the membership of the society was kept minimal at the beginning. Funds for the running of seminars have been largely obtained from donations. From the revenue derived from this source, it has been possible to initiate annual awards of medals and money prizes for outstanding essays in parasitology and tropical medicine open to undergraduate students and graduate students of less than two years standing in the Malaysian institutions of higher learning. The Society Medal is also awarded annually for young parasitologists up to 45 years of age for excellent research in parasitology. This medal is called MSPTM Silver Medal. A medal to represent the highest mark of distinction called the Sandosham Medal was instituted for outstanding contribution to parasitology 
and was and still is awarded every once in three years. Later, the idea mooted by Professor Sinaya became a reality in 1994 where the first Sandoshan Memorial Lecture was introduced in conjunction with the award. In 1966, Professor A. A. Sandosham, the founder president, was honored by being elected an honorary member of the society and had the rare distinction of having a symposium dedicated to him. Since 1978, the society has grown in strength and members have achieved greater heights through the society. The MSPTM served as a platform for its members to grow and nurture into great scientists. Over the years since its inception, the MSPTM has walked a path of success made possible by the voluntary and efficient contributions provided by its members. By this track record, members of MSPTM can always be proud to vouch that the society has fulfilled the visionary objectives set by its founding members. The objectives of the society were to promote research and education for the advancement of parasitology and tropical medicine and to disseminate this information within the country as well as internationally. Besides organizing the annual seminars, the members of the MSPTM actively organize monthly scientific talks so that scientists will be updated and follow closely the cutting edge of science. From printed sheets of paper to fully evolved quarterly newsletters, the Society for the past many years brings the latest information to the doorstep of our members. From time to time, the Society takes the responsibility to impart knowledge in parasitology and tropical medicine to young students in schools. We feel it's our responsibility to get the younger generation of students to be interested in parasitology. Thus, exhibitions and talks are organized in schools to keep the interest of parasitology among students afloat. The Society also published its own journal since 1984 with Dr. Mark Junwa as the first editor. The tropical medicine has not only achieved this target, but has evolved over the years and achieved the distinguishable ISI ranking with a growing impact and is a very popular journal regionally. The increasing number of members attending our seminars, which we now call as National Conference, is an evidence of the growing interest in tropical medicine and parasitology. With the opening of new private and government colleges and universities, there will surely be a demand for research and teaching staff for tropical medicine and parasitology. And MSPTM has become that platform to facilitate an exchange of ideas and create better collaborations between researchers of these institutions. MSPTM has also been a pioneer society in the Asia-Pacific region and with a distinguishable reputation for promoting regional cooperation in the field of tropical medicine and infectious diseases for the past many decades, many of the proceedings of regional seminars, training and research findings have been published in national, regional and international journals of tropical medicine and public health. Today, we are 50 years old and we welcome participants from all parts of the world to the golden jubilee celebration of our very dear and precious Malaysian Society of Parasitology and Tropical Medicine.